Welcome to the video edition of Arts and Times, the Tri-County Arts Calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and exhibit in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. Jessie Martin is a clay artist from Berlin. She was inspired to take up pottery by members of her family who were active in the Lower Delaware art scene. My grandmother was one of the founding members of uh, Gallery One up in Bethany, and my her brother, my Uncle Jack, was a watercolor artist. They were both members of the Ocean City Art League as well, um, and the Bethany Beach Watercolor Society. And when she passed away, I wanted to stay involved, you know, in the whole art scene. And I had looked at the class, I don't even know how it really happened over a bit, but I had looked at the classes that Gallery One was giving, and somehow was online and ended up over at the Rehoboth Art League website and saw that they had a ceramics class and it seemed less intimidating. I literally, the first time I sat down at the wheel, I was sort of obsessed. I bought a wheel, I think, two weeks later. Most people get really frustrated at the wheel the first time. I don't know, I sort of felt like home. Like, oh my god, I never want to leave this thing. I'm, I just, I fell in love with it. I don't have any formal art education. Everything that I've learned has been through seminars and stuff like that. So even as an adult, when going back to school is not an option, um, finding these neat little seminars at, at art leagues and things like that are just, you can find these gems there that are just so beneficial. Working in clay takes a lot of discipline, yet it is a very creative process. One of my mentors when I first started, um, he really emphasize sketching everything before you throw and knowing what you're throwing, what you're going for before you just sit down and play with it. And it's fun. I've done that religiously ever since then and uh, it is fun every once in a while to sit down. I have no idea what's going to come out of it, but there's a lot of value in having, you know, a sketch of your work all the way through the glazed finished piece, an idea of where you're going with it, so that it's all cohesive. Jessie enjoys creating everyday objects and making them works of functional art. Each piece is unique rather than part of a production series. Sometimes I will do um, a couple of a similar form, but for the purpose of making different changes or different sizes, but I pretty much will never do a production. I just can't keep myself interested in pottery if I do that. Jessie has a degree in engineering from Lehigh University. She worked as a designer and website programmer before becoming a potter. The neat thing about this is that I do get to incorporate some of that part, and that's what all those machines that aren't normally in a pottery studio are all about. I, um, the top one, I actually have a thing where I can draw stuff on the computer and print it onto this special paper, it's called water slide paper, and the iron in the toner of that printer will fire onto the piece. So that's a really exciting thing for me. And then the other one is a vinyl cutter and I use it to draw kind of intricate things and then I will do a relief on a piece with glaze. So part of the porcelain itself will show through or part of the red rock will show through the bare clay, which I love it when there's something like that. Jessie is also a young mother. Being an artist with a young child allows for a freer work schedule than most jobs, but requires great patience. There is a part of you that just wants to be com completely consumed by your work when you, you know, discover your medium and what you love to do, and it can be just all-consuming, but you don't have that option when you have small children, and there's all kinds of guilt as a mother when you're like, wanting to be doing this with most artists. It's fun to bring the kids, get them involved, you know? Jessie's become especially interested in improvising with glazing techniques. The series that's in progress now combines a white satin glaze with a resist design, leaving some of the porcelain exposed. The relief is going to go down these channels here, and then I'm probably going to have something come down like that and head into one of the channels. I just don't know what the design's going to be yet. <laughs> Jessie's work can be seen in Berlin at the Zena Wellness Studio, the Berlin Coffee Shop, and the Gallery at the Worcester County Arts Council. Proceeds from her work are donated to a dog rescue shelter in nearby Del Mar. Thank you for watching this edition of Arts and Times. 
This Moonshell production was funded by the Worcester County Department of Tourism. Eat, Drink, Buy Art on Maryland's Eastern Shore. Visit EatDrinkByArt.com to find out about 10 towns where great food goes with great art, all produced locally. You'll have a terrific time and take home a work of art you'll always treasure.